dollar, dollar, dollar. Dirt and money, no soul. Had to go and get it, ain't no time to kick it. Got a stack of flip for my foes. Dollar, 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 dollar. Please tell me you can hear me. Don't turn your back and don't declare me. Just let me know if you need me. Dollar, 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 dollar. Let me watch out for my partners. Keep my money long, get my team strong. Let me run away from my problems. Yo, let's get <laughs> it's your boy DJ Duki, your girl. Sierra Nicole. Back on the channel with another. Get and see original. I, I. Just know you did it, not me. <laughs> I came with my A game. <laughs> I won't say all that, but okay. Oh, man. All right. Whatever, whatever you want to say then. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, man. We got Dave Chappelle. Another bird revelation. My stories. I don't know. <laughs> the title ain't giving me no clue or understanding of where we're going. Yeah. I'm going to just hop on the ride and go. You ready? I'm ready. All right. So, with that being said, before we get into it, make sure you check out the links in the description box down below. You already know where to go. If you want to further support, always check down below. Mm -hmm. Also, every single time we salute to the comment of the salute day. Salute to you. We highly appreciate y'all, man. Y'all keep coming around, showing us that love and favor. We follow up with that favor and give y'all some amazing content. But also, <laughs> if you enjoyed today's video... <laughs> Log it in with a thumbs up. You was like, I don't know. Where you going with it? And then you I like, finish? Like, you like, shit, I like that. Oh! <laughs> okay, come on. With that being said, what? what you Nothing. Oh, you right. lost the pen. <laughs> with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's go ahead and check it out. Let's see what's about. You ready? I'm ready. All right. That's why I want to start a GoFundMe for Colin Kaepernick. I do, man. I'm fascinated with him. I want to make sure he never has to play football again. He can if he wants to. I just don't want him to have to. Mm. So why the fuck not? I know he's rich and people would be like, I'm not giving a GoFundMe to a rich dude, but you should. You should. Because that motherfucker's life was going great. He's so light-skinned, he didn't even have to say he was black. <laughs> and yet, he took a knee during that anthem for us thought about us when things were going good, when his belly was full, when he was didn't think about his livelihood or any of that, and they took his livelihood away from him. I'm like, man, that shouldn't be the way it is. Fact. Every fucking person that takes a stand for somebody else always gets beat down, and we watch it over and over mm. and over again. We watch it, but we should pay those motherfuckers for blowing the whistle because they make our lives better. And we could change the narrative. We could make one motherfucker have a good outcome for doing the right thing. And that would make another motherfucker be brave enough to do the right thing. And if you're 40 years, because bitch want a stupid ass part. We should take care of each other. Wouldn't it be nice to be like, remember that time he was going to kill Jesus, but then he got all that money? <laughs> Real talk, man. It's not a racial thing. It's about us making our society better. Man, it's about to... like even these women that are coming forward and they will say they're brave, and, and many of them are. And a few of them, a few of them sucked the dick and got buyer's remorse. <laughs> 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 Yeah, it's like, I get it. You're like, I ain't like this, so I'm going to just say he You know what I'm saying? But, damn, you all right, cuz? Yeah, you good. You jumping and flinching. Like, yeah, because you spitting. Let's just get back into <laughs> it. No, that's a huge omission from this narrative. This wouldn't have gone this far, and some women weren't willing to do it. You can't ask every woman to have, hold the line. Some women can carry things heavier than others. Mm. So we should fight for one another. We should forgive the ones of us that are weaker and support the ones of us that are stronger. And then we can beat the thing. Okay. If you guys keep going after individuals, the system is going to stay intact. You have to have men on your side. And I'm telling you right now, you're going to have a lot of imperfect allies. 
I'll tell you what happened, but I can't say it directly. There's a book to me that encapsulates my entire experience before I left the show. And the book is called Pimp. It's written by a guy named Iceberg Slim. Yeah, bring it up here. This is Matthew. Matthew was from France. He's white. And yet, he has an original copy of this book written by a black American who was a pimp in the 40s. Iceberg Slim, his real name was Robert Beck. He got the name Iceberg because he was in a bar in Chicago and there was a shootout in the bar and a bullet went through this nigga's hat and he still finished his drink. Pimps love shit like that. They said, man, you ice cold. And he said, I like that. <laughs> and it stuck. This book is so heavy in the front. It has a glossary of pimp terms because the ideas are so foreign to the American ears. For instance, do you know what the phrase mileage on a hoe means? <laughs> Bruh, I, I, I hate God, this shit. That's... Bruh, we be, we, be so, we be so locked in on some serious shit that this motherfucker just pop out of nowhere with a punchline. Oh my gosh. You know what a mileage trying to hold me? You know. A lot of these hoes got some mileage. Oh. <laughs> and they thinking a tune up go help the ass. I am done. Oh, shit. The wheels are already flat. <laughs> they flop. Of course you don't. Mileage on a hoe is a very wild concept. It means that pimps understand there's a finite amount of bad shit a person can do before they'll lose their fucking mind. And a good pimp can look at a woman that he's never seen before and call it. She's good for 500 fucks. Mm. That's her mileage. Anything over that, that bitch is gonna spill. <laughs> they do it to you. Why the fuck you think most of us work from nine to five? Because nine to six might kill a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Iceberg Slim was the one that broke down what a bottom bitch was. Does anyone know what a bottom bitch is? Anyone? What's a bottom bitch, sir? It's your, uh, it's your prostitute that's the best out of all of them. That brings in the most money. That's right. That's exactly right. Are you black? <laughs> <laughs> that's right. A bottom bitch is a pimp's number one hoe. She's even a bitch that helps him keep the other bitches oh, alive. I will repeat. She's even a bitch that helps oh, him right. keep the other bitches in line. The pimp was McDonald's, and the bottom bitches was French fries. The rest of them bitches was like fish sandwiches, and <laughs> pies, and shit like that. <laughs> Iceberg Slim breaks down some of the coldest capitalist concepts I've ever heard in my life. He describes in detail how these men break women so that they will give them the money that they make with their own bodies. There's a story in here so cold it makes me shudder to think about it. Well, Iceberg Slim is trying to control the woman that he finds uncontrollable. So he asks older pimp how he can rein her in. And the older pimp says, oh, that's easy, Iceberg. All you have to do is beat that bitch with a coat hanger and then run her a bath and give her some pills. She'll be so grateful that you fixed her that she'll forget you were the motherfucker that beat her in the first place. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Damn. That's crazy. Shit, that's knowledge, though. Knowledge that's, for what? If you're trying to get in the pimp, I need to, I need to buy that. <laughs> that's some cold. Shit. Now, it is a cold shit though. the end of this book, Iceberg Slim tells a story. It's kind of the crescendo of the book. And in the story, Iceberg Slim's bottom bitch is at the end of a mileage. If she was good for 500 fucks, she was at 498. 
She was bubbling. You could see it. She was going crazy. She saw the same. This bitch is losing. I can juggle too, you know. Juggle. <laughs> he had to let her go. It's hard to let her go. A, a bottom bitch go. And he wasn't ready to let her go because his organization couldn't handle losing her. But she didn't know that. She didn't know how important she was. Uh -uh. So what he did was he called her to a diner. He said, look, bitch, you and I got to part ways. She said, fine, motherfucker. I don't need you anyway because I know somebody at Ringling Brothers. She said, all right, bitch, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I got one last trick for you. It's a big money trick. You do this for me, you get paid, I get paid, and we go our separate ways. She said, fine, motherfucker, what do you want me to do? He said, okay, there's a guy in that hotel across the street. He's waiting for you in room number seven. I want you to go over there and I want you to fuck him. But before you do, I need you to put some of this stuff in his drink. And then he's going to fall asleep. When he does, there's a briefcase on his bed. Bring the briefcase to me. That's the trick, bitch. Can you handle it? She said, fuck yeah, I can handle it. I can't wait to get rid of you. And she ran outside, jumped on a unicycle, and pedaled across the street. <laughs> 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 Man, if I never jerked off in the face, maybe she would have been in the circus right now. <laughs> and she runs up to the motel steps and she disappears in room number seven. And she's gone for a real long time. Real long time. So long, in fact, that Iceberg got a little worried. But then, suddenly, she came back. He said, what's going on, bitch? Where's the briefcase? She said, I didn't get it, daddy. He said, what do you mean you didn't get the briefcase, bitch? What's wrong with you? She said, oh, I, I did everything you said, but, but that man don't look right. Something wrong, daddy. He said, what do you mean something's wrong, bitch? Did you put that stuff in his drink? She said, I did everything you said, daddy. I put all of it in his drink. He said, wait a minute, bitch. Wait a minute. You put all of it in his drink? Now he had to see for himself. Mm -mm -mm. She done killed that man. <laughs> you think... Bruh, this is hey, this is a deeper head story oh, look, though, I'm, bruh. I'm in bed. <laughs> Two of them go across the street to the motel, they go in room number seven, and on the bed, laying lifelessly, is the white man that she was supposed to fuck. And I said, You right, bitch, she don't look good. <laughs> what the fuck? So he called a friend of his that was a doctor that was close by. And the doctor came in. Gave the guy a thorough examination and told them both what was obvious. Slim, this motherfucker is dead. Oh, God, daddy. Oh, no. Oh, no, we killed him. He said, come. <laughs> you killed this motherfucker. Facts. And then he reached on the bed and he grabbed the briefcase. He popped it open. It was filled with money. More money than any of them had ever seen. And Iceberg took a little bit of the money and gave it to the doctor. And the doctor left discreetly. All right, bitch, let me think. <sighs> I can fix this for you. I know somebody I can call. But if I call them, I'm going to owe these motherfuckers a big favor. Oh, God, daddy, please. I don't want to go to jail. Neither do I, bitch, so will you shut up? <laughs> Pick up the phone. She heard a mumbling in the phone a little bit. We hung up the phone. And she was pacing the room, and he was just standing there cool, and they were waiting, and they were waiting. And suddenly, a van pulled up downstairs. Two guys get out with a carpet. They walk upstairs. They roll that carpet out on the floor. They throw the body in the carpet. They roll that motherfucker up like a burrito. They pick that shit up, and they throw it in the back of the van. They come back up, and Iceberg opens the briefcase again and gives them a little money. He says, I'll get in touch with you guys later. They say, you're not going to get in touch with us at all. We'll find you. He said, whatever, nigga. And they bounced. Oh, shit. Hey, anytime somebody tell you that, bro, I'm a little, I'm a little hesitant, bro. Don't, don't, <laughs> hey, I'm going to get in touch with you. Nah, we're going to get in touch with you. See, well, nah, nigga, we can go ahead and, and talk right now so we ain't got to be looking for neither one of us. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh God, no. daddy, oh, God. He says, relax, bitch. Listen, we get the car. We got to leave separately. She went, she got the car. Iceberg grabbed that briefcase, waited a few minutes, looked out the window, and then he went down with her. They both got in the car, and they drove off. She was a blubbering mess. Oh, oh, you did all this shit. He said, I told you, bitch, we didn't do anything. You killed a motherfucker, and I cleaned him up.
Now we got a That's secret. Street. Okay? That's facts, though. I know I'm not going to tell, bitch. It's you. <laughs> oh, no, I ain't going to tell. He's all right, baby, cool. I'm going to need you to stay with me for a while until this shit cools down. She goes, okay. 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 <laughs> That's the game. That's how the whole shit works, ladies. You understand? This bitch was at the end of a mileage. She was at 498. She ended up tricking for Iceberg for another six months. She must have turned another 200 tricks for him. Do you understand? Some cold shit. And the cold shit about it is that the dead guy on the bed wasn't even dead at all. This motherfucker was just a friend of Iceberg's acting like he's asleep. The doctor wasn't a doctor. It was a motherfucking butcher that happened to have a white coat. Wow. And the dudes who came in the moving van clothes was dressed. Got in a new apartment. <laughs> <laughs> and the bag of money was Iceberg's money in the first place. The money he got from all those women. That's a cold game. That's Damn. the motherfucking Capitalist Manifesto. And that's why I went to South Africa. So now we got us a little secret. That motherfucker. That's a good one, though. I was invested. The, but the fact that he made her think, because uh -huh. he wants to let her know, I'm always in control. It's always about the control. So now, I know your mileage, you know what I'm saying? But I can't let you go. I can't afford to let you go. But I know your your value ain't the same. Right? So now I gotta figure out a way you're gonna do what it whatever it takes to make your value stay the same because you owe me. Mm. <laughs> no, I I'm I'm just saying that's a cold ass no, story I, though. Yeah, yeah. I wanna go get the book. Now you want to get the book. I was already thinking before you said something. I was thinking, my ass, yeah. that'd be a good read. Yeah, we go half on some hoes. No, no. You ain't got to be no bottom bitch. <laughs> I am done. You going to be the... I'm about to knock you up out of the track. Oh, you going to be the HB... <laughs> HBIC? You ain't got to be no... Be like, I'm the hip. See this motherfucker on <laughs> I'm just saying we get us a plethora of holes. <laughs> Not a plethora. I'm done. We learned the game. You got to beat that bitch ass. I am you. not. No. I'm, I'm going to beat her ass and you just sob up. And she, you know what I'm saying? Like, Everything going to be okay. You just got to, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, he playing by the way. Because <laughs> some of y'all be taking him too serious and you cannot take him serious I'm at all. I'm just saying. And the money. Around here. <laughs> I spit all in your face, dude. Mash it. Miss I don't want nobody. <laughs> Look, I'm saying I don't want nobody like I'm about to. <laughs> I'm done. Wrap bro, it up. Bro, what that man said, y'all spit us up in the comments. Let us know what else we should react to there so we can bring it over here. But oh, always, my gosh. But as always, y'all know how it go, man. I had to go by the name, DJ, you hit this is. We are? We are, y'all. Ain't no time to kick it, got a stack of flip for my foes. Dollar, 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 dollar. Please tell me you can hear me. Don't turn your back and don't declare me. Just let me know if you need me. Dollar, 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 dollar. Let me watch out for my people.